way too many people make their ideology their identity and I really don't get why. I can understand maybe pride but it's more often than not the sex of which I would say yeah it's not really a prideful thing to identify by. Nationalistic socialists aka Nazis are always very proud to, st proud to stand by that label of a nationalist when we've never had a successful nationalist movement ever but you should be able to argue a point your point whatever it may be whatever topic it's covering whatever you know facet of thought it is within you should be able to argue that point without one naming the political ideology, the thought, the school of thought, or whatever it may be, without naming a registered sort of um, known school of thought, and without, you know, giving a person's name of authority. You should be able to explain and justify and qualify your point as a point. You shouldn't have to fall back on labels and titles and you know things like that you should be able to argue the point as a point of substance it's like uh when christians uh argue against uh homosexuality by saying i disagree with homosexuality because i'm a christian there's no validity to that argument there's no uh reasoning if you're saying um i disagree with homosexuality because it's unnatural it goes against the uh, sanctity of sex you're more so backing it, but also with that reference to the sanctity of sex in the Bible, you you have to fall back on another um, set ideology. You aren't arguing of substance, and also you're, I will say this quite candidly, eliminating your ability to be a three thinker. If you were to categorize that and say, oh, I disagree with it for whatever reason, blah, 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 I will probably still disagree with you, but I will logically validate your argument more because you are actually having an argument and actually holding something of substance rather than saying because of this which is something I'm indoctrinated to stand by and because of something someone else said that I agree with. If you can't say it yourself, what's the point in believing it? You obviously don't understand it. You don't get it when you have to fall back on an already set subsidised example. You're not showing knowledge, you're not showing understanding, you're not showing validity to your own argument. The only person you're harming is yourself because your mindset is clearly one of flaw and fault because you have no sort of real identity. You are taking something else already subsidised, already within the world and just assigning your name to it. Which yes, of course we need to assign, assign our names to certain labels, certain ideologies, certain political parties, certain schools of thought for simplicity just so we can get along and understand vaguely what we're going on about. But when that is your only fallback in a discussion, you devalidate your own point. You kill your credibility because you are not the one ending up doing the argument when you're just talking in reference, not in retrospect and actual thought and content when you're just saying well because of this chapter in this book because of what this person says because of so and so and so you're just organizing other people's points and not making your own you aren't a free thinker you are just an encyclopedia spouting out certain facts you're an index with certain pages written you're not having a debate you're guiding your opponent to places to look for arguments that are not your own which if the person you're arguing with is some sort of free thinker who can back and knows how to subsidize an argument themselves they can go through these references and they say if you say because of the sanctity of sex and that person goes to the sanctity of sex reads through it they can back with their own mind and thought and credible ideology which isn't assigned to a party or isn't assigned to a label debunk those or at least in some place um confront them which completely kills your stance in the argument when you have gone from the defendant of your point to the defendant of someone else's point to just a person who has been completely obliterated in debate it's not debate tactic it's not how do you think it's it, it, we are all sort of we're so much more 
inclined to take on someone's someone else's mindset than make our own and that is just damning to thought in itself that's not how humans are designed to be